Hi friends, welcome to Java Express channel. In previous section, I explained like a elastic load balancer and auto scaling group. Today is one of the important service in Amazon. They are providing S3. This is one of the oldest service available. S3 is like when I say it's a simple storage service. Like uh, it's like a um, uh, Google Drive. Like if you have a Gmail account, you can store files and directories. Like in the same way, if you want to store some data, you can store in Amazon S3. S3 also. Uh, but we have some use cases basically s3 is nothing but a simple storage service that's why the name it as a s3 okay imagine s3 is a object based storage okay when you say object object is nothing but a file i can say a file a, either a video either a movie uh, any a pdf text file everything we can call as an object in Amazon S3. In the real time, if you are using a Windows or Linux, we can call as a files and directories, right? File is nothing but an object and directory is nothing but a bucket. In S3, we can call as a bucket. Okay. And S3 allows to store objects in buckets. That means files and directories, as I already said. And every service is linked to S3 at some point. Like assume that if you create an EC2 instance, okay, in the back end it will create some logs. If you want to attach these logs to your S3, it will be a store the logs. Like if you create the VPC, okay, uh, all subnets will be there. You can create some of the flow logs, like which request is coming. In the back end, they will use like a S3 okay uh, if you want to create a ami in the amazon like it's it will create a snapshot in the back end so these snapshots also will store in the s3 if you take a real time example if you take some banking application like uh, suppose you withdraw the money or you are transfer the money in the bank you are filling a form they will give one receipt to you in the online application they have some file will be generated even though if you forget the receipt these all files it should store by the bank in back end the uh, bank applications basically up to last seven years uh, every each and everything they will store in the bucket when I'm storing in the bucket in the sense like S3, maybe they can use the back in any application. Okay. In cloud, Amazon S3 is one of the very uh, important service and it is a old service in Amazon S3. When they introduced the Amazon, they introduced S3. This is the first service. Okay. And S3 does not require region selection like IAM. If you say in the previous session, I explained the IAM, right? IAM is a global service. You can log in from anywhere. It is not specific to your region. Okay. But S3, uh, it should not be any specific, uh, any region. Region selection is not required. But while creating the bucket, you need to give. But it is like a, some user interface. You can see what are the buckets available in your bucket. That means in your S3 service, you can see how many, suppose North Virginia, you created one bucket. Uh, and if you created in uh, Mumbai region, some different, different regions you created, right? If you take an EC2 instance, if you, it is a region specific. If you create in one region, it should, uh, it won't display in different region okay but s3 it will be a if you create anywhere it will display in the uh, some common user interface i will show you while creating a bucket uh, how region is not required for the s3 i will explain that part and user interface shows all your buckets in all regions wherever you created the region it will show in your user interface okay Next, S3 bucket is unique in the whole Amazon ecosystem. When I say Amazon ecosystem, if you create any S3 bucket, the name should be unique. Suppose if you take a domain name system, www.google.com, but only one can access. No, if I want the same domain, it is not possible. In the same way, S3 bucket also, the name is unique. And what are the advantages of using S3 bucket? Okay, you want to create a bucket when I say bucket is nothing but a directory. Okay, you can store data up to 5 dB. 
okay max you can store 5 tb data you can store if you want another bucket you can okay if you are storing some data if you want to retrieve the data we can call as we can download the data okay if i take some amazon or flipkart or mintra if you see all image if you want to buy a mobile they are displaying by default some 6 to 7 images or one video clip those all like a public access right anyone can download so those type of things in the bucket they can create a directory they can store those files they can expose to the public so we can download the data and you can provide the permissions also okay like uh, you are giving you kept one image that image only uh, uh, can see some other user okay who you have an amazon account who have another amazon account only they can see the amazon you can restrict the user uh, by default the bucket policy is like a private you can't see you need to enable the permissions okay first of all when i said till now we discussed some uh, bucket object exactly what is a bucket when i say uh, assume this is a bucket right bucket is nothing but a directory if i say bucket is nothing but a container for objects stored in amazon s3 objects is then you can store some data okay uh, like that it's not showing here in the next slide i will show you how objects will be there every object is contained in a bucket uh, assume that object is nothing but a file a fault uh, either word document either movie either image we can call as an object okay by default if you create any bucket by default it is a private if you want to access you can make it as a public for example uh, this is like a, a bucket when i say bucket url okay when i see this is java express is your bucket name okay this is your s3 service okay this is in which region you created this is amazon aws.com by default uh, this part i will explain uh, what it is why because in this three url there is some combination bucket key you version like that uh, assume that in this slide you can assume a bucket is nothing but a directory okay next bucket properties for each and every bucket uh, we have some properties okay versioning logging if you want to host a website if you want to provide any encryption while downloading the data the transfer will acceleration is nothing but the very fast some events so suppose one event is happen you want to do some action so we have bucket properties in the yeah, we will deep dive in the next sessions first try to understand what is s3 what are the things uh, fundamental just try to understand okay rules for the bucket naming whatever you want you can't create the bucket name they have some specific rules some restrictions okay bucket name must be 3 and 63 characters long okay this much length will be there minimum is three characters and bucket name consists only lowercase letters numbers or dots and hyphens only these four are allowed okay uppercase letters are not allowed and bucket names must begin and end with a letter or a number either begin and starting like um, when i say first starting with some a and ending with uh, some number uh, in that way they are saying begin and end with a letter or a number either alphabet either a number and they have one more restriction it's like a ip address you can't do in this way see if you see here there is a bracket is there bucket names must not be formatted as an ip address for example here whatever it is 192 168 numbers are allowed dots are allowed and they given as a this symbol this symbol is not valid so these are all the rules for the bucket naming okay what is an object when i say object is a fundamental entity when i say fundamental entity it's like a file image or thing if you take an example of image for the image simply you can see just it is a image if you are storing this data in an s3 we have some metadata when i say metadata example uh, if you take an image image has a content type that means is a image type if you store as a pdf the content type is a file formatted it is a word document or a pdf either text file if it is a video some in the bottom of bytes some metadata information also it will be stored in the s3 bucket 
metadata is nothing but last modified when you are created what is the size and type of the file content you can it this metadata also will be stored in your s3 bucket this is called a object now you know what is a bucket what is an object and we have one more concept what is a key so this is important key is the unique identifier for an object within a bucket you know the bucket bucket is nothing but a directory object is nothing but a file okay one directory you uploaded one a image for each bucket has exactly one key every object when i say every object please remember this point every object bucket has exactly one key okay you created a bucket inside a bucket you created a uh, a folder a directory okay so inside that directory you uploaded an image we have a key concept here i will show you by once you know the demo then you will be more understand this concept don't worry okay the combination of a, a bucket key and version id uniquely identify each each object if you want to specify in each object this is the combination is there if you see here java express okay this is my uh, url this is my bucket okay s3 is a service this is the region if you see this is your key is a uniquely identify this key pix you created a folder inside pix you created logo.jpg this whole combination is called amazon s3 object url when i say object url okay in the next section uh, i will explain how to create bucket in s3 if you not understood if you feel any difficulty please leave your comments in the video section then i will clarify you thank you guys